What's up, my LS Crazed Amigas? It's your boy, Terry, speaking from the garage shop once again. Here to offer you some more Big Bang for the Buck product and info and LSA install tips. That's right. We're moving along really good with this LSA. Mm -mm -mm. Happy with the, so far, with the way it's going. Now, let's take a look at what we did so far. We prepped the body of the LSA, and we also prepped the snoots now. And so now, it is time for the two to become one. That's right, one big unit so we can nestle it on top of the engine. So what we need to do is we need to go over to the place where I keep the two pieces, the parts, the piece parts, and uh, let's have a little talk. All right, come on with me, check it out. All right, we're getting ready to make these two pieces together. Make sure you get these things, the this, this surface, very, very clean, as clean as possible. scotch bright, some brake clean, and scotch bright. Make sure it's as, as shiny as this, you want it, because the cleaner the surface, the better the adhesion. All right. Now this is the spring loader isolator that came with the supercharger. You know, this is what causes all the problems. No bueno, never again. We're gonna choose in favor of a Lingenfelder Isolator which pops in here now you can get either Lingerfeld you can get a uh, Metco Motorsports There's a lot of companies out there that make them but uh, in this application We're gonna go with Lingerfelder and we just slide in there Make sure it fits in push down a little and That's it now if you notice the three shafts of the of the um, Supercharger They're right in there see it fits right in there. Now the other three pieces of the snoot will fit one, two, three, and you cinch it down. But first, we gotta get some ATV sealer on this thing. And when you're applying this ATV sealant over and around the snoot, you wanna make sure nice even bead And uh, hopefully, you won't get any leaks. Like that. Okay, so we got the snoot on. Let's take a look at what we did so far. We got the snoot. We fixed the gasket. Um, snoot's on. The hub. All right, now, first thing you're going to do is you're going to unhook, uh, let's see, this vacuum from here. Oh, did you can see it right there. This one right here. You're going to unhook this, and you're going to cap this off. And you're going to move this line. Let's see. To right here the opening right here so let's go this this one right here goes to this right here let's do it all right I'm gonna turn it just make sure it's right right there's a little opening right here Take that off and leave it open. All right. You don't need this. All right, let me show you. So let's recap. You're gonna leave this, you're gonna cap this off. Cap that off. This is for the oil cap, the um, oil um, catch can. All right, this, you're gonna leave open. This attaches to this. The hose goes to here. All right. Now don't forget these two right here. This is for the brake booster. You put your brake booster here. And this, if you have, um, what is it? Let's say you have like a Chevelle. It has. It needs vacuum to open up the heat vents and the doors and all, not the doors, the heat doors, the vent doors. This is where you're gonna get your vacuum from. From this, you can see it off here, but this is there, so might as well. Matter of fact, you know what you should do? You should just do this. And cap it off. There you go. Done deal. <laughs> and that's all there's to it. Now remember, 
remember, all of the bolts on the LSA, and when you go to nestle it on top of your engine, all those bolts, they're torqued. So you should check the, the, the torque specs, and also important, the sequence. The sequence of which one you need to torque first, which bolt you need to torque first. And uh, I'll, I'll put them up on the video, so, but even still, but it's always a good idea to have that information handy. All right? Checking out, looking at the clock on the wall, or should I say ceiling, time for me to head on off and put the LSA on the car. Yeah. So remember, always, always please keep those emails coming, keep those comments coming. I love hearing from each and every one of you. I'm going to try to get to, I try to answer them as quickly as I can. And, you know, like it's all about caring, sharing, and knowledge. And I love getting this information out. And hopefully it helps you on your next build and hopefully it helps you save money. So from this point on, please be easy. And I'll catch you guys real soon. Take care.